Hello everyone, welcome to the editorial analysis of the Shankar IS Academy brought to you by the Civilspedia team. So this video is for the current affairs for the date 24th of September 2024. Uh, displayed here are the topics for discussion. The article titled How to Enable Transit Oriented Development talks about the integration of the public transportation along with the urban growth to increase the productivity and this article is from the Hindu and the final editorial article that we would be discussing would be titled social justice must include her where it talks about the recent instances which happened in Kerala where there is development of the Hema committee report and how social justice needs to be including women also and this article is from the Indian Express. So, without any much further delay, let us get into the article's discussion one by one. Now, moving on to the first editorial article. So, this article discusses about the a concept called transit oriented development that is the TOD where there is integration of public transport with the urban growth to increase the productivity. So, let us see a main question according to this article. Transit oriented development has been heralded as solution to urban planning challenges. Discuss the potential benefits of the TOD in Indian context while highlighting the challenges faced in its implementation. Herald is nothing but something which is going to happen soon. So, uh, so the question speaks about how TOD uh, act as an upcoming solution to urban planning uh, growth and their challenges. So, in the context of the article, let us see a framework to this question. So, first what is transit oriented development? It is a strategy where there is focusing on urban areas uh, with the creation of jobs, housing and services near the public transport system or having a transit system. So, uh, having a transit system near this, uh, urban, uh, near the urban areas where there are all amenities, it thus encourages walking or biking and there is efficient use of transportation which aims for sustainable economic growth and better land use. So, uh, for example, uh, many cities have uh, successfully implemented this, this uh, strategy uh, cities like Stockholm, Copenhagen, Hong Kong, Tokyo and Singapore have uh, successfully implemented it. So, for India to be implementing, they can uh, take inspiration from such cities. Now, let us see the components of the transmit, uh, transit oriented development. First is uh, having a walkable design. Here, in the transit oriented uh, development, uh, that it, it has prioritizing pedestrian friendly areas. Next is regional nodes where there is mixed use hubs near the transit area such as the house offices and so on. Next is a collector transit system where systems like buses or small rails can stand as a supporting system to, uh, to reach the transit system. Next is having a managed park. So, having a limited parking area allotted for the transit system can help the passengers to reach the transit system efficiently and next is having a specialized retail where near the transit system retail services like uh, having shops and so on can be a matter of convenience. Now, let us look into the benefits of transit oriented development. First is having an economic competitiveness. First, it promotes having a job cluster in an area and thus this job cluster can increase the economic output where, where uh, doubling job opportunities can increase the economic output almost to 5 to 10 percent. Next is to have a, a livable communities. So, having a transit public transit area and having uh, urban growth near it can bring jobs, uh, homes and other amenities together or to closer to public transport areas where it helps to reduce the commute time that is the traveling time and also it creates vibrant cities that for example beautification of Chennai. Next is having a supporting public transit. Having such high density of development near the transit system can increase having a public transport usage where there is cluster of people in one place and it will it will bring in more sustainable way to reach the transit areas for transportation. Next is a real estate value where having a transit system near an urban area can increase the property value of that particular land. Thus, 
cities can invest in such lands and it can increase the value of the land altogether. Next is the inclusivity. Having an integration of affordable housing along with the transit areas ensures equitable access to a lot of opportunities such as just jobs and so on. So, there is increase in income. Next is having a reduced carbon footprint. So, having one transit system, it encourages public transport and uh, it reduces the usage of car dependency and their emissions. So, for city like Bangalore, having a common transit system rather than using car by every citizen can reduce the traffic, car dependency and, and at the same time, it increases sustainable development. And finally, is having a disaster resilience. So, having a transit areas, it helps to focus on the development in safer areas rather than in high risk zone. Now, looking at the factors driving the demand for the transit oriented development. First is traffic congestion. So, the increasing traffic congestion leads to search for efficient solutions like having a hub or one hub like the transit areas. Next is discontent with the suburban areas. So, recently many people would like to live in urban areas for the opportunities and um, uh, amenities provided. So, sub uh, urban sprawl can be defined as the development near the areas where it was underdeveloped before. So, people are not satisfied the sub urban sprawl recently. So, for them moving to urban areas uh, is seen as a better opportunity for them to have a increased productivity of their life. Next factor which uh, brings a demand for TOD that is transit oriented development is having a walkable environment. Here there is preference for uh, pedestrian friendly areas. So, at the same time there is increase of beautification of the nature at the same time. Next is changes in the family structures. This is can be seen as one of the important factor where there are a lot of bachelors or single person households and also uh, people called empty nesters where people who move out from their home for studies and so on prefer urban living. So, there is a need for having a public transit system and having amenities at the same area so that such single person or such empty nesters can be able to afford uh, affordable traveling and affordable jobs. And next is support for smart growth. The na there is a national support for efficient land use and sustainable economic growth and at the same time sustainable environmental growth. After looking at the advantages, we have to equally look at the challenges when it comes to the TOD or transit oriented development. First is the lack of coordination. So, uh, multiple authorities like the in authorities handling urban planning without uncoordinated goals can be a hinder. So, for example, in Indian metropolitan cities, uh, this is an issue. Next is having non-inclusive planning. So, there is a separate plan for the land use and there is separate plan for the transportation planning where it leads to inefficiencies. So, we need an integrated planning program. Next is having higher population density which is given when it comes to a country like India. That is overcrowding or underdevelopment without any proper regulations for the population rise. Next is having poor urban design. There is a lack of pedestrian friendly infrastructure and at the same time a lot of poor infrastructures where for city like Chennai, we can see its uh, impact during the flood. Next is suitability for Indian cities. The transit oriented development models can, may not be as effective as in prowling cities like Delhi or Bengaluru. Uh, of course, it might be successful in other cities like Hong Kong and so on. But for cities like India, there needs to be more planning research and at the same time a judicial interpretation. Next is behavioral resistance. Uh, reliance on the private vehicles despite public transit investment is still a problem. People till, still tend to take their own, prefer to take their own vehicle rather than using a public transport. So, let us see a way forward to this. First is to have a better planning where there is coordinate planning between city planners and uh, transport authorities. So, main involving stakeholders from different uh, authorities that is the NGOs, public private partnership and so on can help in uh, integrating the goal for the transit oriented development. Next is integrated policies that need to be encouraged of public private partnership for efficient metro growth. Next is sustainability focus. There needs to be a prioritizing of environmental sustainability and energy efficient public transport at the same time. 
so now moving on to the final article titled social justice must include her this article focuses on the hema committee report which was published recently due to various incidents from kerala focuses on how we need to expand social justice to include women and to include uh, problems associated with it so uh, let us see a mains practice question discuss the significance of expanding the ambit of social justice to address the challenges faced by women in india so in framework of this article let us see an answer to this question and i also want the aspirants to form a answer for this question and put down in the comment so first let us see what is social justice social justice refers to the fair and just relationship between the individuals and the society as per the preamble of our indian constitution where it ensures social justice economic justice and political justice for all the citizens it also seeks to ensure equality uh, having human rights and dignity for the marginalized groups of our indian society now let us look at the key components when it comes to social justice first is equality of course the article 14 uh, talks about the equality before law the article 14 of the constitution guarantees equality and and by integrating social justice it tries eliminates discrimination based on the caste class gender or religion next is the economic justice the article 39 sub clause b and c focuses on the distribution of wealth and resources for the common good under the directive principles of state policy next is having a political justice where there is equal political participation through the universal adult suffrage which is the article 326 and moving on to the protect, uh, protective discrimination as a component of social justice it focuses on the reservation for the sc sts and the obc communities and women as a marginalized community where it also includes article 4 uh, 15 sub clause 4 where it talks about the special provisions for the advancement of the sc and sts community and art, uh, article 16 sub clause 4 talks about the permission of the state to to make provisions for the reservation of post so through these components uh, that is inclusion of social justice so now let us look into the challenges when it comes to social justice where there is inclusion of women first is having a patriarchal norms deep rooted cultural norms like the patriarchal norm restrict women access to the education employment and decision making at home sometimes leading to most extreme ideologies like being misogynist next is having a gender wage gap women face uh, gender wage gap discrimination in their workplace and also in low uh, women in low paying jobs are almost preferred next is workplace safety there is inadequate infrastructure like the having separate toilets but very unclean and at the same time uh, very less safety measures so the idea of having sometimes having the unisex toilets is also very problematic next challenges would be having a weak legal enforcement weak implementation of domestic violence and workplace harassment laws especially in workplace lets the women to not even voice out their problems next is educational disparities there are high dropout rates and gender biases even in the curriculum or uh, and uh, other opp- other opportunities to access various uh, amenities especially in places like rural areas more than educ- education women are often uh, expected to marry for other familial benefits next is health and nutrition when it comes to having an affordable health care as a biggest aim for india as a society uh, issues like malnutrition limited maternal health care uh, having reproductive rights stand as a major challenge for both the economic growth of the society and at the same time the hurdle in, in social justice for women now let us see legal uh, reforms associated with social justice when it comes to women first is the maternity benefit amendment act of 2017 where there is maternity leave which has been increased to 26 weeks next is having the sexual harassment at workplace act of 2013 and prohibition of child marriage act of 2006 next looking at the welfare schemes scheme like beti bachao and beti padhao helps to improve child sex ratio and at the same time to promote girls education the scheme called pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana aims for financial assistance to pregnant women and scheme like ujwala uh, aims to bring in lpg connections to reduce health risks when it comes to traditional cooking methods as 
predominantly women are the ones who tend to cook for their family for a very long period of years and at the same time there is a longer period of them standing in the heat produced by the kitchen and at the same time during summers it would be more difficult so topics like climate change and gender is itself a very big perspective to understand next is educational incentives when it comes to social justice for women scheme like sukanya samriddhi yojana focuses on saving for girls education and at the same time uh, bringing in marriage expenses so there is less dependency on the family one next is the kasturba gandhi balika vidyalaya where it focuses on bringing residential schools for the marginalized girls so that parents are having more awareness in recruiting them into schools and finally looking into the social reforms 33 percentage of reservation for women in local governance has been allocated including the panchayats and the urban local bodies next is the mahila e hath where it is a digital platform for women entrepreneurs to promote their products now let us have a way forward to include social justice uh, for women first is to strengthen legal frameworks we need better implementation of women safety and empowerment laws justice dy chandrachud uh, through a lot of his landmark judgments like the L- lgbtqia where there is criminalization of the article 370 and uh, in today's article where there is a broader explanation of the child pornography where it includes girl girl child also and such laws through such laws there are, there is a lot of judicial interpretation and in light of the recent kolkata event he our justice also interpreted on how the case should be taken forward so when there is a proper judicial implementation and when there is a proper judicial interpretation it is always a better place to be with next is having gender sensitization education uh, bringing an education to challenge the patriarchal norms in homes schools and workplace is such a big task next is having an economic empowerment access to employment microfinance vocational training for women and bringing in women into different spheres of work would be bringing in inclusivity for women next is to have a healthcare access improve the reproductive health maternal healthcare especially in rural areas as biologically women during the uh, reproductive process they go through a lot so in order to improve our healthcare system one needs to focus on the basic amenities when it comes to women next is the infrastructure improvements uh, that needs to be women friendly infrastructure in workplaces so that they will be able to voice out without any fear and next is finally policy inclusive policy making where there is equal representation of women in political and administrative roles thank you for watching this video don't forget to give a like comment and a share and to further not to miss any other contents subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice day